hello hello good morning i look incredibly pale maybe i should put some light lip gloss on one second i mean it kind of worked i'm pale anyway let's just deal with it all right so welcome to another little studio vlog i feel like it's been a long time i say this every single time but there's just so much going on in my mind right now i there's just a lot and um, there's a very exciting project coming soon it should all be happening in october which i know is like quite far away but it's going to take a while we've got a whole team working on it it's very exciting if you're into graphic design if you're into adobe software it's one for you i am very excited about it but i'm stressed hence me like being a little bit all over the place but in today's little studio vlog i thought we could um work on the new planner stickers together have i got lip gloss on my teeth because i have been meaning to get these sorted for so long but this big project that i'm doing has been sort of taking over my brain um and my office look at how messy my office is like this is not the worst office you've probably seen but for me it's very messy and it's annoying me so that is one of the first things i need to do today but i want to perfect these sticker sheets these are like all the test prints i've been doing and the most recent print is the one at the front it's for the weekly and daily planners um and they're in like similar colors like complementary colors um so it all sort of ties together actually i could probably show you i have been sticking a couple on my own planner let me just check that there's nothing on here that i can't show you here are the um stickers in action or some of them at least i just kind of was playing around with them so we've got some cute little motivational ones we've got a little to-do list sticker so you'd like tick off those boxes in that yellow one lunchtime now and obviously i mean i stuck these stickers on after i'd completed and used this day daily sheet so obviously you can make better use of them than i have but you can kind of see that they're in the same color scheme they complement the colors of the planner really really well um but yeah this is the sheet so yeah it took a few attempts like these are the first ones on the left and the colors weren't quite right you can't really tell on the camera which is annoying like this is one of the first ones and it was like so weirdly colored um so i changed some settings on my printer also my cricket was like cutting them a bit weird like they weren't cut very well you can kind of see that it was doing it really like off um and it was also sort of tearing when it got to sharp edges it was tearing the paper a little bit i've been taking some experimentation because obviously i've never made stickers before but i'm very much enjoying the process so far i think they look really cute um what i'm going to do today i'm going to show you sort of how i've got to this point i'm going to further calibrate the cricket so it cuts perfectly like the last try i did was very very nearly there this was the most recent one but it was also like 30 degrees that day in my office so i could not sit here and wait for it to cut so yeah that's what we're going to do today um i've also ordered some gloss sticker paper because this is just vinyl sticker paper um but i thought the gloss one would be a cool little extra that i can include um during checkout so we're gonna do that but first i'll tidy my office because it's driving me insane i've tidied my office to the best it can get i feel much better now i'm gonna turn my laptop on if everything's connected i don't know maybe my laptop's as tired as i am that is quite a possibility i think i charged it up like three times yesterday that's how much i used it but yeah things are happening i'm very excited about it it's just a bit just just a bit overwhelming sometimes isn't it um right so what i have is some vinyl not vinyl like glossy sticker paper this is like the most basic one i can get off amazon because for one I've never done it before and i don't want to pay lots of money for one that i'm not quite sure how to use and secondly i also don't know if people are going to buy them so um for now i'm gonna do it this i mean don't get me wrong they're still good quality like i'd be happy with getting stickers like this and i'm going to price them like reflect the, the pricing is going to reflect the quality um but 
yeah i just got this brand from amazon i'll leave it linked in the description it's evergreen these are the glossy self adhesive sticky paper and then i also have the matte from the same brand again just from amazon um if there's anyone watching who does stickers and does it like a lot um, and has a good recommendation of where to get them from let me know because obviously i'm new to this and i'm not quite sure not quite sure where the best place to go is um but what i'm gonna do i'm gonna open up illustrator and i'm gonna quickly show you the file that i created with the stickers on it printer is on paper is in i'm gonna print on the matte paper first just to check it again and then i'll print on the gloss paper the only thing is that i've just realized with this gloss paper is apparently the cricket sometimes has trouble reading the cut lines like the registration marks on glossy paper so a lot of people put like matte tape over it which seems frustrating because that's a waste of tape um and that's not very good for the environment but i'm hoping because i have the cricut maker which is like the best one you can get i think as of right now i'm hoping that that might not be an issue but we'll figure that one out as we go so i spent a while sort of sketching out ideas on procreate on my ipad and then i obviously went on pinterest as always to gather inspiration um and different ideas but this is what i came up with and i absolutely love it i think it just speaks soul and fire perfectly this is the sheet as you can see we've got a few different things and they're all made out of shapes there's some text element i don't know if you can see if i like zoom do you know what i'm trying to use this keyboard and it's not working because it's not plugged in and on well let's just sort that shall we that would help are you happy now are you going to work there we go i fixed it all right so yeah um let me just zoom in so you can see i've got text elements i've got text um like fonts in different like calligraphy style fonts i've got my pin badge design i thought i'd have to throw that in there and yeah i can talk this through can you hear my dad hammering anyway this is the document i came up with lots of colors lots of different shapes lots of motivation so what i do once i have these stickers and i have a design that i'm happy with all i did was export it out saved it as a png um, and then saved the background as a separate layer so I exported out these stickers as a whole and then in a different layer I exported out the um, little grid background and the little header and footer thing that I put on it. This is what I got so in Cricut Design Space I have downloaded the application version for my Mac and these are the two little files so there's just a background layer and a sticker layer and then I've saved it as a project so I just like imported them both and I created this. So from this, and again, if you do want me to do a more in-depth tutorial on how to make sticker sheets, let me know, but it probably won't be too soon because I'm still mastering the art of it myself. So I'm doing it as a print and cut. I'm fitting two sticker sheets on one. And what we're gonna do is send it to my printer. I don't want a bleed on it. I do want the system dialogue. That means I can change the quality of the print. I'm printing it on my new and very amazing Canon IP8700 printer um i have it set up wirelessly and i have it set up wired with a usb so i'm doing it by usb just because i trust it a little bit more than my very dodgy internet for some reason the system dialogue always appears behind this screen it usually takes a while for it to realize but there we go and again i'm still playing around with the settings of this i'm just going to do one copy on the map whilst that's printing hopefully it works i'm gonna open my cricket and connect it and show you is my little cricket she's beautiful she's the rose gold version i need to put this mirror actually on the wall but we'll get to that eventually um so if i just open this here she is in all her glory i love her a lot turn her on and then my computer can find her and we're going to use the standard not the standard the light grip mat this is where all my machines make a lot of noise but yeah we'll use the light grip mat and i just have them like command hooked onto the side of my drawers works really well and then this drawer unit is also from hobbycraft the cricket was from hobbycraft i'll link everything i can find in the description but the printer is printing let's see let's hope it looks good how is that looking that looks really good actually the quality is 
very good happy with that whilst my printer is printing as i'm sure you can still hear um i just wanted to quickly talk to you about one of my favorite websites it's skillshare you guys know i've worked with skillshare quite a few times now and they've once again sponsored this little section of this vlog so i can tell you just how much i really enjoy skillshare so if you aren't already familiar which i'm sure you are skillshare is an online learning community where you can take online classes from professionals so whether that be graphic design illustration photography business management flower arranging there's literally so many Shh printer there's literally so many different courses and classes available to you what i especially love about skillshare is that it is really really affordable when you compare it to in-person workshops and classes and obviously with the current world situation those kind of classes are very limited as it is at the minute so having a site like skillshare is super super beneficial i've actually discovered a class by daniel scott i have it on my screen right now and it's about adobe illustrator and it's all about their essentials it trains you in the essentials that you need to know with adobe illustrator so obviously i've just shown you those stickers and i didn't really go into detail so if illustrator is something that you want to get into you can go on to skillshare and find a whole host of different classes to do with it so if you are interested in learning a new skill or perfecting one that you've already sort of dabbled in i actually have a two month free trial for you to claim so all you need to do is click on the link in my description and the first 1000 of you guys to click that link will be able to try out skillshare premium completely for free and don't know about you but i love a freebie um and i think it's completely worth it so please do go and check out skillshare um let me know what courses you try um let me know if you recommend any especially when it comes to sticker making i feel like i need it um but yeah thank you so much to skillshare for sponsoring this little part of the vlog and without further ado let's get these stickers on the cricket i'm very excited okay the matte stickers have printed look at them beautiful what i'm gonna do whilst i'm still sat here i'm gonna do the vinyl not the vinyl the gloss ones could have moved my camera and shown you but i can't be bothered um and then i'm gonna just press print again on the printer change it to gloss and then we'll head over to the cricket so i'll see you 10 steps that way not even that one step that way my office is very small all right so the glossy sticker paper is currently printing and what I'm going to do now is set the settings up on my Cricut. So I'm in Cricut Design Space and I'm going to use, because I have the Cricut Maker, it has preset like cool little settings. So we're going to go for sticker paper, removable, which basically means it's going to kiss cut them. I want it on uh, less pressure because my blade is still pretty sharp because it's still pretty new. And then all I need to do is stick the paper on the mat in this direction so that's what we're going to do okay we have the glossy the matte and straight away you can see the difference with the print quality so what i need to do is just up the contrast when i'm printing on matte paper because obviously it's not as clear with darker colors but this looks really really cool i think there is a little bit of an issue with like the dots here but we can perfect that as we move forward i'm sure and the actual stickers themselves are literally perfect i love them this is the most accurate to my screen i have printed them out so far this is why we experiment so i'm going to take the protective film off my cricket and i'm going to stick it in this top left corner like it tells me to do on my computer try and line this up i'm very intrigued to see if the gloss paper cuts well on the maker so we have it stuck to the mat. So what I'm going to do now is just load the mat into my Cricut, press the little flush in loading button and just check that everything's set right, fine point blade. I know that I want sticker paper removable. So now I just press the go button that's flashing, which is here, which by the way, I love the Cricut logo. I think it's super cute. And then it will try and read it. Let's see what happens. Hopefully it works. So you can see that little light, that is what's reading the black lines. I think it's doing it, you know. I think it's spotted them straight away. Oh, 
she's got it, she's got it down. All right, so now it's finished cutting. Before I take it out and off the mat, I just like to double check that it's cut it right. And I have this little hack, so it does like die cut and kiss cut that I learned from Catnip. So what I need to do is peel off this bit. And as you can see, it's cut out the individual sheets rather than me doing it on my like guillotine. Then I will peel it off. Someone commented like you're brave for peeling it off on carpet. Um, I'm not sure if I'm brave or stupid, but yeah, I feel you, I feel you. And there's two. These look so cute. I like these a lot better than the matte ones. Obviously the colours are very different, but they've cut really, really well. I think what I'm going to do, I'm not going to cut this. Not yet anyway, I'll save it for my own planners. But I want to get the colours matching so i'm gonna up the contrast on the matte sticker paper setting and then print that out a few times until i've perfected it so i will get to that and hopefully i'll be back in a little second okay whilst my cricket is cutting apologies for the noise but that's just what my life is gonna be now isn't it um i'm gonna get out my what is it called scrapbooking paper we have a very big stack of scrapbook paper and i'm gonna just try it without having to put all my lights up for now but we have different colors so i reckon i could um lay out some different colors and take a couple of photos so we can get them on the website asap but i think this will look quite cool Alright, so I took the photos and dragged them over into Lightroom on my laptop and edited those and I think everything's about ready to go on the website, you know. I'm going to put together a few little like sneak peek, maybe like Instagram story posts or Instagram feed posts. Um, I'll work over that. Work over? I'll work on that over the next few days. But once again, it's very, very warm in my office. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm very sweaty. So I'm going to go work downstairs um but yeah thanks for watching this vlog i'm gonna end it here because i'm not doing anything more exciting today so yeah i will speak to you soon i hope you've enjoyed this little cricket sticker vlog hopefully there'll be very many more what hopefully there'll be many more to come anyway i'll stop rambling thanks for watching see you soon bye <laughs>